What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves an absolute banger. Today, we are rocking out with a triple starter team that features Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, just exit out of the video. I do not want you watching if you're not subscribed. I'm just playing, yo. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the content, but seriously, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. You guys are the real ones. Thank you to everybody who's a subscriber to the channel. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Start off in the top left corner with the one and only Charizard. Everybody's favorite Pokemon right here. We got the solar power as its ability because you know, Sync thrives in the sun. We also have the choice carp as an item, so it can pretty much outspeed any Pokemon. We got Heat Wave, we got Air Slash, Blast Burn, and Scorching Sands for our four moves. Right next to him is going to be our first restricted Pokemon. That is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex, and this Pokemon is phenomenal. We got the As One ability alongside with the Focus Sash, which I think is the best item for this Pokemon. And then we got Protect Astral Barrage, Leaf Storm for our coverage move, which is kind of weird. Which is kind of weird considering we have Venus on the team, but I'll use it. I'll probably use it. And then we have Snarl for our final move, which is going to be special attack drops on special attackers. So, cannot wait to use that Pokemon. Just get rolling out the battle from there. Middle left is going to be our Chlorophyll Venusaur that doubles his speed in the drought. We also got the Life Orb as item. Then we got the Leaf Storm, Earth Power, Weather Ball, and Sleep Powder for probably the best moveset for any Venusaur. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is chilling right next to Venusaur, and that is going to be Groudon. And Groudon... He's just too good. He is just too good, especially with Charizard and Venusaur because of its ability drought. It just sets up these two Pokemon and allows us to get a huge lead in the battle. We have the Citrus Berry as his item, and then we're rocking with Rock Slide for coverage, Crystal Pice Blades for our stab move, then we got Protect and Swords Dance to set up this Pokemon. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be our final starter. That is going to be Blastoise over here with Rain Dish and Leftovers. We got Iron Defense, Life Dew, Body Press, and Yawn for this thing's moveset. So uh, Blastoise is kind of over here for like a support build. Like we have plenty of attackers with the Charizard and the Venusaur, the Groudon and the Calyrex, but then Blastoise over here, instead of using like a special attack, a special attacking build, we went with a nice little uh, support build. So we got Iron Defense set up, we got Life Dude to actually heal up Pokemon, and then, you know, body pressing you on. I really do like this. I really do like this Pokemon. Cannot wait to use him, and hopefully showcase him to his fullest potential. Final Pokemon on the squad is one of my favorite support mons in all of Sword and Shield. Ever since day one, I always love this Pokemon. It is going to be Grimmsnarl, Prankster, and Light Clay. Love it so much. Screen Scrim Snarl with Prankster and Light Clay is my bread and butter. I absolutely love this Pokemon. We got Spirit Break, Thunder Wave, and like I just mentioned, you got the Light Screen and the Reflect. So good and so powerful. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, the Rental Code is chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Triple Starter Series 12 team. Let's get it going, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex and Zacian Meta team right here with Landorus, Rillaboom, Whimsicott, and then he has that Defiant Thunderous as his final Pokemon. Okay, we don't really have to worry about the Defiant Thunderous because we don't really have Intimidates, but we'll have to worry about it if we go into like a move that uh, drops stats. So uh, we won't worry about it for right now. But who do I think he's going to lead? Whimsicott could definitely be coming out as a lead. Could be a scary Pokemon. Uh, I could set up Screens turn once. Screens is not bad. Screens is really not bad. I kind of like it. I'm kind of digging it. And then, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, who do I want to go into after that? Radon could be solid as a lead. Just set the sun. He has no weather control. We could go Char- Oh, I kind of like this Choice Scarf Charizard. And then maybe bring Groudon and Venusaur in the back end. And just say, oh, sorry, Shadow Rider Calyx, and go from there. I am digging that. I am really, really digging that. I do like that, because most people expect, like, Charizard to just get, like, the Dynamax. But, like, we're not even going to Dynamax, and we're just going to keep him with his Choice Scarf. Have him outspeed Pokemon, and just rip from there. So, I really do like using this Pokemon as a lead. We just have a lot of versatility with him. I'm with it all day. And then if we want to, we could actually Dynamax him and just hard swap our Grimstarl into the Groudon. Get the Drought rolling. But I want to get these screens set up. Screens are so viable. They're so good. They're just so good. But yo, before battle number one even starts, you guys already know the deal with question of the day. What generation do you guys think has the best starters? Out of every single generation, which one do you guys think has the best three? Let me know in the comment section down below. Gen 1 is definitely top tier. Definitely top tier. I also like Gen 4. Gen 3 has some bangers. And then all the other gens, like... Gen 6 has Grand Ninja, but like then the other two are all right. They're all right. So I wouldn't consider that top. I wouldn't consider that top. But uh, you guys let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. He goes Wimscott alongside with Shadow Rider Calyrex, and I'm kind of with this. I just think a light screen is due here. We're going to light screen up, and I think we just go straight into a heat wave here, right? Heat wave's definitely going to be a play. Lovely little heat wave. Charizard should outspeed everybody. Up, oh, never mind. Calyrex should be faster than a choice scarf. Boy, now. But light screen should be able to come up here first, which is just gorgeous. And, uh, we should be able to eat up Astro Barrages all day. Yeah, there's the Barrage. 
There is the barrage. Lady King's gonna help us out tremendously. And then I could Thunder Wave him next turn if I really want to. Could work wonders. The yeah, Charger's gonna take some nice damage, but thank you, Mr. Lady Queen. Lady Queen definitely helping us out. Heat Wave's gonna poke through here. Look at that damage. Lovely. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Okay, so from here, I could definitely go into, you know, the, the, the Thunder Wave. Yeah, Thunder Wave's gonna have to be replayed. We're gonna Thunder Wave him and then just go into another Heat Wave. I'm actually surprised that that Heat Wave did not do as much damage as, as I, I wanted it to do. Onto that Calyrex. I thought it was gonna do at least half. At least half. Like, that did, like, nothing. I'm so used to, like, Charizard in the drought just doing a ridiculous amount of damage. But we're gonna Thunder Wave this thing, slow it down a little bit, and I think Charizard should be able to outspeed it. But this thing's gonna go first, Charizard. You should be able to eat up that clean. Yes, sir. All day. We love it. We love it. So that's big old eat up. Charizard should go next. Beautiful. Heat Wave's gonna fly. We're gonna take out Wimscott, and we're gonna deal some damage onto that lovely Calyrex. But that's a solid turn for us. Solid turns for us. And we're wasting out Tailwind. We are wasting out Tailwind. And he's paralyzed. Yo, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Okay. So if he throws out a physical attacker, we will set up a reflect. But if not, we're just going to paralyze it. Let's see who he throws out here. He's going to go into... Okay, that's a physical attacker. Let's set up this reflect. Reflect coming out. Do, 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 do. And then uh, maybe we get a burn with a heat wave. That would be gorgeous. That would be gorgeous. But Thunderous uh, is going to be able to outspeed my charge. I think he does Dynamax with Thunders. The Thunders is kind of scary. I'm not even going to lie. Thunders is kind of scary, considering we have Venusaur and Groudon. See how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays. But if I can waste out Tailwind, we can be sitting so good. we be sitting so good. So I can't... I, 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 I can't paralyze that thing, so... I want to go for the Reflect. We'll set up the screens. Like I said, screens are so good. And if I charge, I can get off one more turn, which you might be able to do. We could be sitting nice. We could be sitting real nice. We'll set up the reflect. Let's see what he's going for. Airstream? He's going for Airstream? I would think he is. Yeah, he's going to go for the Airstream. Go on the Grimstar, please. He goes into my Charizard. So he takes out my Charizard. That's all good. He takes out Charizard. And now I'm thinking of just Dynamaxing my uh, my Groudon instead of Venusaur. I really am. I just think it fares way better up against the Slenders. I really do like that. Astro is going to poke here. And I think we actually soak that up. Dude, yo, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna Dynamax the Venus or the Groudon here. I actually think it's a way better turn. I really do. I really do like that turn. We still have the Citrus Berry. We could set up a Swords Dance, but I, I just think we have to get right after this battle and save our Venus for the back end while the weather's here because he can't change weather with that Thunders. He cannot change. Uh, we're gonna change weather though. It's tough. We are gonna change weather. Do I change the weather? Do I change the weather? Is the real question. I really don't want to, but I think I have to. I think I have to, right? I think I have to deal some damage here. I think he's a soul fest too, so, you know, we're just gonna send it. We'll change the weather, that's fine. That is fine. I really want the drought for Venusaur, but dude, we have to hit up on the Slenders. I have to Dynamax Ground on here. Venusaur just doesn't fare well. Just doesn't do well up against his Thunderous. So I'm just going to start dealing some damage here. And kind of rolling out from there. Oh, but I don't have Protect on Venusaur, do I? Bro, I have Leaf Storm. I have, yeah, I have Weather Ball, Sleep Powder, Leaf Storm, and like, my Coverage Ground with Earth Power. It's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. Let's see what he goes for. He's going to go for the Airstream. He's going to take out... Oh, he's going to go for my Groudon. That's gorgeous. That's fine. He can go over there. And, uh, mm. This is tough. This is real tough. We're going to hope that, that uh, Calyrex is paralyzed this turn. Oh, that's gorgeous. We love this game. We love this game. We're going to be able to drop a rock fall here. Loving it. That's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for us. Huge turn for us. We deal some big old damage there. We change up the weather. And more importantly, Grimstarl is going to be able to uh, to take out Calyrex. Right? Spirit Break should be able to do enough damage. And this thing's policied? Bruh. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. That, that thing's weakest policy. I thought it was going to be a soul vest. But we take out Calyrex. That's a huge turn for us. And, you know, this battle's coming out to the wire because we know he has Zacian in the back end. No doubt in my mind he's rocking Zacian in the back end. Gotta be Zacian, right? Gotta be Zacian. And there goes his tailwind, which is huge. Actually, it doesn't really matter. His Zacian's going to be able to outspeed us anyway. That's what he does. This is my dude's play. He's going to go into the Zacian. Saw that coming all day. Now, I wonder what's going to happen. We're definitely going to th uh, Thunder Wave onto Zassian. We have to Thunder Wave Zassian all day. Slow this boy down, and then uh, I'm going to try to get rid of the Thunders. Yeah, I'm going to try to get rid of Thunders. 
If we can make this a two on one up against a, a paralyzed Ascian, we could be sitting so good. We could be sitting so good. So Thunder Wave's gonna poke here. We're gonna connect it onto this Ascian, right? Connect it. Thank you very much. Beautiful. So we got him paralyzed now. Yo, Grimstar. Like I said, yo, I absolutely love this Pokemon. It's just so good. It's just so good at controlling battle. He's gonna drop a max knuckle. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. His Groudon eats. Groudon should be faster than Zassy now. We should be able to take him out and kind of get rolling with this battle, right? Let's see how this one plays. Rockfall. Can my Groudon actually eat up this blade? Hopefully this thing's paralyzed. Because if not, it turns to a 1v1 because the Buffets are going to take out Grimstar. Oh my lord. This is going to be a good battle. I don't think my boy's eating this up. Double damage plus two with his Zacian. Stab. Unless he's paralyzed. We'll take a paralyzed turn. Nah, here comes a blade, yo. We dead. We dead all day. Yo, leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone. Eat this. We ate it. Wow. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. And now we have Citrus Bay. That's GG's, yo. We got this game. We got this game. Okay, I could swap. I could swap my Venusaur. Or I could swap my ground. Actually, no, I can't anymore. I forgot about the Buffets. I forgot about the Buffets, but yo, we take this all day. Wow, yo, I'm so surprised you ate that. I'm just so used to Behemoth Blade just absolutely dumping on Pokemon, especially Dynamax Pokemon. So when he was sitting there, plus two on the attack board, dropping a Blade onto me, I was terrified. I was honestly terrified. But we're going to drop our Earth Power here. We're going to drop a Max Quake. And I believe both my Pokemon outspeed him. But the Paralyzes. Yo, MVP Grimstar all day. Oh, I forgot we had Reflect. Reflect definitely helped us out there. I forgot about Reflect. Like I said, yo, Grimstarl's too good, dude. He's too good. Quake comes out here, and we just dump on it, no problem. GG's. Battle number one goes to your boy. We start off 1-0. Let's hop into battle number two. Let's go back to back. This team honestly thrived in battle number one. It worked perfectly. We didn't even need Shadow Rider Calyrex. We grabbed ourselves a win. We're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against another Zassian team, this time with Yvelta, Incineroar, Amoongus, and then he has Regilecki and the Landers. Okay, how am I doing this one? Grimstar, I'm looking good again, yo. I love me some Grimstar. I love me some Grimstar. So I'm thinking about leading him, or I could go straight into the Weather Squad. I mean, he's giving me no reason not to go into, like, Charizard. Right? Charizard and Groudon look phenomenal. Or Charizard or Groudon uh, Venusaur. We definitely want to go into some type of Weather Squad. And I'm thinking Groudon and Venusaur, just for speed purposes. I am liking that. I am liking that, man. It just looks too good. It just looks too good. We'll bring uh, Calyrex in the back because, you know, Calyrex is really good. And then do we go Charizard or do we go Blastoise? I mean, Blastoise could set up. Could set up with some nice little body presses. Hmm. Who do I want to roll here? I just like Charizard with that Choice Scarf. Especially as a back-end Pokemon. Choice Scarf's too good. He's like the last Pokemon on field. Choice Scarf is just too good. Especially with Pokemon like Assassin. That's super, super fast. I'm liking this lead. I'm liking this lead for us. Good old Weather Squad. Good old Weather Squad. Good old Weather Squad. Yeah, I saw, I saw his team. I was just like, dude, we have to go into either the Charizard ground on or No excuses for us not to, you know? But let's see who he leads. He's going to lead these two. I'm cool with that. A little scared, but I'm cool with that. A little scared, but I'm cool with that. But I think we put uh, Yvelta to sleep. I think we put Yvelta to sleep. And uh, did we drop a Blades here? Did we drop a Blades? I think we drop a Blades and we put Yvelta to sleep. Or Vegelike, like he could protect. Oh, I could... Oh, yo, I could... Sword, I could... Sword, I could definitely Swords Dance. Let's we'll see his Pokemon. Because he could swap into Lando here. Which would be a great call, thinking I'm going for Blades. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're going to set up a Swords Dance, and I'm going to put... Little Yvelta to sleep here. Because Yvelta might Dynamax just go for Airstreams. Let's see. Oh, -hoo -hoo! He is Dynamax. Okay, cool. Ooh, cool. Regilecki might protect. Regilecki might protect. I wonder what Regilecki is doing. It could Volt Switch out. But yeah, dude, if we can connect this Sleep Powder, oh, baby. Oh, baby, dude. Then I can just Dynamax my ground on and get rolling from there. That would love. Let's see what he does. He's protecting Reggie. Protect Reggie. E-Web's going to fly here. So he's going to E-Web. Doesn't affect ground on, but Venusaur should still be faster than the Shivelton, right? It should still be faster than the Shivelton. I swear, if it's not, it ruins my plan. I'm going to cry a little bit. It's not! Who are you going after? Eat this up, Venusaur. What you mean? That's rough news. That is real rough. He gets a crit, too. Oh, my lord. Get out my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Really did me dirty with that one. We're swords dancing now. Now I had enough. 
Now I had enough. That's so whack. Okay, uh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What's the jeans play here? Obviously, Dynamax the boy. I could go into Cali here. He's not too bad. Good user focus sash and save Charizard for the back, which I really, really dig. It. And Dyn Dynamax Groudon, save Charizard for the back. Bring out Calyrex, start snarling, kind of going from there. Get a special defense boost as well. Ooh. Yes. Yes, I I'd like it. I like it a lot. Okay, uh. I think he's going to take out Calyrex, though, but I'm cool with that. As long as I can get off a snarl. The mi a minus one Calyrex should be faster than, than Yvelta, right? Like, Calyrex got to be like 200 something speed. 224, I'm going to guess. Let's see it. 222. Okay. Should definitely be faster than Yvelta. Should definitely be faster than Yvelta. So, from here, I'm going to Dynamax. I'm totally quaking on this thing. And then from here, I'm just going to snarl. Snarl, snarl. Boo boo doo boo boo. Boo boo doo boom. Okay. Wow, dude, our plan almost worked so perfectly. That would have been the play of the year, but that, honestly, our opponent had a great call there. He had a great call. He was probably thinking, like, yo, I'm going to, uh... Our opponent's going to sleep out or so. Let me, let me slow this thing down. And he probably knew. He's just like, yeah, you're about to get out speed him at that point and take him out. But still, dude, the crit? I wonder if we would have ate without the crit. Just does me dirty. E-Web's going to fly here. Again, my, my Calyrex should be faster. My Calyrex should be faster. What is going on? Come up to Groudon. Thank you. Wow. That damage. I always underestimate how much damage you have. I think it hits way too hard. What a citrus berry. I think it hits like an absolute truck. So else can come out here. How much damage that does to the Reg Lucky? And then we're going to Quake. We're going to get a special defense boost. Wow. Battle, no bueno for us. No bueno. One's not looking good. It does not look good. I always under, like I just said, I always underestimate the power of Yvelta. Because usually when I use it, I use it as like a non really attacking one. I use it more so as just like a, uh, not like support, but like a controller. With the foul plays, the oblivion wings, the snarls, the sucker punches. I really like playing Yvelta like that. So whenever I go up against a Yvelta that's just like heavy hitting like this, I always underestimate his power. So we're back to normal on our special defense board. He's minus one on special attack. That thing's scaring me right now. And uh, what's my play here? What's my play? What is my play? I could guard. Which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of guarding. And then just going into a uh, snarl here. Oh, I can double protect. I'm going to double protect. Double protect. Let's do it. Guard and protect. We set his last dime next turn. Keep going from there. I swear, if this Yvelt is able to take out my Calyrex through that protect, the YouTube channel's over. I'm going to delete it. This will be the last video you guys ever see. <laughs> I don't think it can. But still, I don't know why I have an odd feeling that, this, that a Max Darkness can kill me through a protect. Dude, that, that Red's Lucky is doing me dirty with that speed control. We're going to guard. We're going to protect. Double shield. Let's see what he's thri thriving here. Behemoth Blade comes in here. Block. And what's Yvelta going for? Another Darkness. Okay. Throwing over on the ground. So Double Protect works wonders for us. Uh, I do dig it. He's going to end Dynamax, and we're going to get rolling here. We are going to get rolling. What I want to do here is how many turns left in Drought? Two. I really don't want to change it. I really don't want to change it, but... But I have to take out Yvelta. But I have to take out Yvelta, so I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to drop this. I think Yvelta might protect too. Hemoth Blade comes through here. Yo. I need my boy to eat this up. I Not not you. I know Calyrex is dead. I'm talking about Groudon. Groudon needs to be able to eat this up. Calyrex 100% dead. Yeah. He's dead. Get him out of here. <laughs> Calyrex is the biggest glass cannon on planet Earth. What's Yvelta going for? I'm going to go for... Ooh, if I play my KO me. Oh my god. Yvelta's too good. Yvelta's too good. I swear, yo. That Pokemon's way too good. Alright. Charizard. Let's do it. We got Choice Scarf Boy in the back end. Heat Wave's ready to fly. We have one more turn left in uh in the drought. One more turn left in drought. I'm hoping my boy can, you know, get some work done here. But dude, that Yvelta really does dirty. Charizard should be fast. Easily. Easily. I've been saying that all day, but just charge on Choice Scarf. Yvelta's been outspeeding all my Pokemon. Let's see how this one plays. Dude, a foul play doesn't dirty. 
I think we would have been able to eat up a, any type of special attack in Charizard. We had that thing minus one. Heat wave comes through here. Come on, yo. Come on, Charizard. Do, do some work here. Oh my god. No way. You felt it on one? You felt it on one? You felt it on one? Okay, we can still take it out with a heat wave. We know we outspeed. What Pokemon is he going to bring out last? Who does he have? Anybody but Landorus. Who do we think he has? I don't know. Bro, are you kidding me? You felt it on one? On one! Then it Oblivion Wings. It's embarrassing. It's incinerable. Oh, dude, and we, we're choosing a fire move, dude. We're choosing a fire move. That's GG's. That's GG's. That's GG's. Are you kidding me? I think we would have lost this one uh, regardless. I think we would have lost this one regardless. Thank God, another Oblivion Wings to come out. He's gonna recover more HP. Yo, I can't stand this Yvelta, dude. <laughs> Yvelta's just doing me dirty. Can we eat that? Or is that GG's? It's GG's. Wow, dude. Wow. Round of applause this Yvelta. Really did me dirty, but still very, very close battle. We put that thing on one HP, but I still think he would have won with that uh, Incineroar in the back end. Would you look at the time, ladies and gentlemen? It's time to grab ourselves a winning record. Let's get after this. We're sitting one and one, hopping into our third and final battle. Would you look what we have here? Another Zassian team. We're three for three with Zassian teams today. He also has Kyogre, Regilecki, Landorus, Rillaboom, and then P2 over here. Porygon 2 is so good. He's just so good. But uh, how should we play this one? How should we play this? I feel like we have to get Blastoids out here. We haven't used Blastoids in today's video, so I don't want to lead Blastoids. But the Grassy Glide. Oh, dude, the Grassy Glide. Don't Grassy Glide me. Uh, we go Venusaur as lead. Venusaur, Grimmy. I kind of like that. I want to bring a Blastoid so bad. You know what? Screw it. We're going to do it. If we lose this battle, we lose this battle. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. We're going to try to get our Blastoid set up. Blastoid set up. That would be cool. That would be gorgeous. But I was honestly so surprised that he left that. Uh, talk about the second battle. That the dude left his Vegelecki in that first turn and went for that e -mail. Because I would have never. I would have protected him or something. I had to go out on out on the field. That guy just outplayed us in the beginning. He goes Landers here. Unless I were Veggie. And... I'm kind of with that. I like it. I dig it. Uh, from here, I could go... I'll go Light Screen or Reflect. I think Reflect would be a bit better for us. He might Dynamax Lando. He might Dynamax Lando. Might Dynamax Lando. Uh, I want to try to put this thing to sleep. I really do. I could, I could guard. I could guard, set up a or set up a reflect, and then swap next turn. I don't know what to do. I kind of want to guard. Actually, no, we're gonna Dynamax. We're just gonna drop a bind last year, and set up a reflect this turn, and then, and then, only then we'll swap in the ground. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm trying to think outside the box. Trying to think outside the box here. But yeah, there's his Dynamax. He's definitely going to Airstream me. And we can definitely eat up this Airstream through his Reflect. And then be able, be able to outspeed that Lando next turn. Unless he's E-Webbing. E-Webb's just so annoying, man. Still be dirty today. Still be dirty. Still be so dirty. Still be dirty, dirty, dirty. Let's see what the play is here. Reflect's going to come out here. Reflect's going to be huge for us. We're Dynamax to our blue team. Yes, sir. All day long. Venus for getting this Dynamax. Okay, so now that we have our little plant, dude, all Dynamax out, I would love to get off this uh, Bind Lash. It just rips. And I feel like I have to sneeze. So I'm going to squeeze my nose. Because <laughs> I don't want to sneeze. Let's see how this one plays out here. Reflect up, out, and about. We love it. We love the screens, dude. Let's see what it does. Do not E-Web me. Thank you, Thunderbolt. Do not paralyze me. Cool. Cool. Airstream coming out here. I'm fine with that. We should be able to eat that. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. It's fine. That is fine. Vine Lash is going to start chipping. I'm swapping straight in the ground on it. Swapping straight in the ground. Look at that beautiful damage. Always oh, Focus Ash. I don't care. We got the Vine Lash chipping. Loving it. So screw your Focus Ash. Get on out my game, Regilecki. Get on out my game. Okay. So we're going to swap the Grimmy Grim. We'll save Grimmy Grim for the back end. You know, Grimmy Sorrow could be very viable. 
could definitely be very viable. Just because, he, you know, he can Thunder Wave to kind of get it. So, uh, ch 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 what do I want to do from here? Who do I want to swap into? I got to swap into Groudon, obviously. He's going to go on the Bro Boom. The, oh, dude. Bro Boom's so annoying. Bro Boom's so annoying. I can't change up terrain. I cannot change up terrain. That's awful. That's awful. I could go into a... I could take out him. I think I'd rather take out Robin. On it, like, honestly. And just go into this Weather Ball shot. Yeah, we're, we're doing that all day. We'll swap into Groudon. We'll go into the Weather Ball shot. Because I do have that lovely little Blastoids in the back end. Who can do some work if he can set up, and get up against physical attackers. It'd be really nice. So we'll set the Drought. I just want to get rid of this... Uh, Will boom. And can Venusaur outspeed this uh, Thunderous? Or not Thunderous, Landorus? That would be gorgeous if I can. Because I don't mind if Venusaur goes down. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Flare comes out here. We're going to say bye-bye, Roboom. Get him out of here. Beautiful turn for us. Now, I do not care if my uh, if my Venusaur goes down. I do not mind it one bit. I do not mind it one bit. Because at this point, I'm bringing back out my Grimmsnarl. Oh, no. He's going in. Woo! He's going in for Groudon. I do like that. Goes after ground line. He gets a crit, dude. Get out of my face with these critical hits today. Citrus Berry Pokemon. We love that. But now Landorus should outspeed my Venusaur. Landorus should be faster than my Venusaur, which is kind of scary. So I could guard here and waste a turn. I could guard because we know Landorus is going after Venusaur. We know Landorus is going after Venusaur all day long. Right? He's got to be going after him. So it really depends who his final Pokemon is. We don't have Reflect Out. It's going to be Kyogre. Tiger's gonna change up weather. Uh, what do I do? Guard protect. Definitely want to guard here. How many turns do I have left to Dynamax? Well, we Dynamax at the same time. It's my land. What do I want to do? I don't have Light Screen up. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. Uh, let's not play. I feel like we have to paralyze Kyogre, you know? I'm gonna go for that. I'm just gonna protect my boy right here. Even though it's easy double kill for him. It's easy kills for him. He's sitting in a good spot with these two Pokemon here. It goes to Airstream. We saw it's coming all day. Can we eat that somehow? Probably not. Oh, we go air. What is he doing? Did he think I he thought I was guarding? He thought I was guarding him, which I was thinking about doing. Wow. Water Spout comes out. Dude, that's gorgeous. We just won off of that. Unless Venusaur doesn't eat this. And he does. It's GG's, dude. That is GG's. That is GG's. Get him out of here. I'm out of here. I can't believe this guy lost this battle like that. He had a shot at winning it. He had a huge shot at winning this battle. He honestly made bad shots with the with the Landorus. He should have took out my Venusaur. He had two chances to. And he did it. Wow. I, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take that win all day. Wait, we're looking to sweep, aren't we? He's got to cancel for us to sweep. Because if not, my Venusaur comes down here. I can't protect them. I can't protect them. We have four Pokemon. Please cancel the battle. Oh, we have Weather Ball. That's gorgeous. We have Weather Ball. <laughs> we have Weather Ball. Yo, cancel the battle. Cancel. Give me the sweep for the end. For the winning record. No. Oh, he's Swords Dancing. Oh, he's dead anyway. That's going to be a sweep. Like, what's he doing with this Landris, dude? He, like I said, dude, he had, a, he had a nice shot to win this battle. My sight's poking. That's fine, yo. My boy Venusaur is going to use a Water Weather Ball. Loving it. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, yeah. Send the water on him. Look at that. Look at that. GG's. GG's. What a set of battles for today. Triple starter team. Absolutely dominated. Two and one. We grab ourselves that beautiful winning record. Oh, but we don't get the sweep. What you mean? We all know that Charizard is good. We all know that Venusaur is good. And we all know that Blastoise is good. Put them all on a team. And you're going to win some battles. This team was phenomenal. A lot of fun to use as well. We had the Calyrex, the Groudon, the Grimmsnarl, and then the three starters. Just amazing all around. But you guys know that Grimmsnarl is OP. 
showed him off to his fullest potential. That is why I absolutely love that Pokemon. Really helped us grab that winning record for today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.